as you'll see, connected to Yutis Kislev, and it's a story with Rab Mendel Futafas, just for those who may, may not be sure who he was, and Mendel, we talk about him all the time, we tell stories, Rab Mendel was this much beloved chassid, there he is, uh, 17 years in the, ver in the various gulags and prison systems, and one of the great chassidim of the of our generation and the previous generation. Much beloved, lovable person. So here's the story with him. At one, at one particular time during his imprisonment, so they gave it a Mendel was tray for food. So he refused to eat it and his health began to decline. Now he's at the point now where He's, he's uh, critically ill, and he's facing, if he continues, he's not going to survive. So the Mendel related <coughs> that he remembered when al Rebbe was imprisoned, he refused to eat Treif, and his interrogators said to him, if you don't eat, you'll die, and you'll lose your share in the world to come. You have to you have to eat. It's not one of the 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 the, the mitzvahs the person has to give his life for rather than transgress. And they were knowledgeable. This was the beginning of his of his arrest. The Al Rebbe said, "I'd rather lose my elam haba than eat treif." <laughs> so Rab Mendel is thinking to himself, "I'll do so." He's, he's going to like the, the Al Rebbe, and I'm not going to uh, eat, and so I'll lose my share in the world to come. But then he said the, the the pain and he was so sick. So he starts, this is such a, a very powerful story, friends, which takes us into the mind of a, of a chassid and the mindset of a chassid, as you'll hear. So he starts to think to himself, you're comparing yourself to the al Rebbe. The al Rebbe felt what he was saying. He felt Kedusha. Can he today? Me, I'm just to be a pinibis in chitzonius. Al Rebbe, this was real and internalized. Me, I'm just imitating him. It's just a chitz. The Al Rebbe didn't eat, so I'm going to imitate. Chitz means e external, doing something because of external uh, 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 calculations or reasons, rather than truly coming from within. The Al Rebbe spontaneously and naturally, he, he, he cannot not eat treif, and he feels this. And he won't have his, he feels Elam Haba, knows what that is as well. And he's not going to have Elam Haba. He'll forfeit Elam Haba, not eat today. If this is, and I'm just a monkey imitating this, a chitzen. And this is what the voice is telling him. So eat. And then he said, I thought, you know what? Yeah. Sometimes you have to use chitzenius. Sometimes one has to behave in a way that it's external. You really feel this. You're holding by it. I don't hold by it. But you still got to do it. This is the internal discussion. This is a chas. I mean, this is so... I have to understand, friends, like from a person like Rav Mendel, chitzonius and any chas is the, is the worst sin. I mean, I have to tell you, the biggest insult for the, the, in Lubavitch is to call someone a chitz. And you're external, you're governed, you by external uh, considerations, but others think give you whatever it is. There's many levels to Chitzayin is. It's the worst thing. And here in Abmendel is, and the Yitzhahara is like using it, they, but he caught him. Yitzhahara, and if it's even Yitzhahara, it could be an official kiss. But the Alter Rebbe, is, the, the Mendel is saying, yeah, I'm a Chitzayin. And sometimes you got to use Chitzayin is. And he didn't eat it. He survived in the end. Just as a footnote, he had a motion of pastic. The, the also beloved Mashpi and Klachabad passed away a few years ago. So he said that it, apparently that Mendel told this story many times, but Rabend, or more than once, that Mendel reminded himself that he had gotten a, as a child the bracha from the Rebbe Rashab for long life. So my life, the bracha of the Rebbe Rashab is going to be sustained from today. No. He doesn't want to drag the, uh, the Rebbe Shab's bracha for long life into this moment. And therefore, I guess he thought of both things. I'm not going to eat. He didn't. He survived. And uh, Baruch Hashem. But that's... Uh, 
Yeah, and the bracha held him. That, yeah, true. Yeah. All right, friends.